Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Um, I've been streaming a lot of P5DR, Tekken 6 lately, um, and I've been getting a lot of people asking me how I'm playing these games online. Um, and so I figured I would just make a video explaining pretty simply how you can play old Tekken games online. Uh, you can play pretty much anything, Tag 2, T6, T5, uh, T3, and Tag 1 I know as well. Um, so it's a really simple process, it shouldn't take you guys very long. So I'm just going to explain everything you need pretty much in this video. Uh, so the first thing that you're going to need uh, for Tekken 5 DR, T6, and Tag 2, you're just going to need um, RPCS3. So this is just a PS3 emulator, um, so you can get it on pretty much everything, Windows, Linux, Mac. Um, so just download that. Once you download it, it's going to give you this RAR file. So we can just make a new folder and we'll just call it um, RPCS3. And then we'll just extract this into the folder. And I just downloaded a fresh version um, of, of uh, RPCS3 just to show you guys how easy this is. It's very quick. So we have this folder now, RPCS3, great. So we'll just open this. And it's gonna tell you that, you know, Windows protected your PC, whatever. I don't know why it does it for this, but just run it anyway. So we're here. So there are a couple important things here. Um, you don't really need to read the quick start, uh, quick start guide. It's, it's pretty self-explanatory. So just click this and you'll be able to continue. Now, something very important. RPCS3 does not condone piracy. You must dump your own game. Uh, this channel also does not condone piracy as it is extremely illegal. So I cannot tell you in this video where to find ROMs or things like that. I can only advocate that you dump your own games and do it that way um, and I definitely cannot legally tell you guys that there exists a discord that's pretty easy to find that has literally everything you need to download these games uh, I cannot tell you that um, if I did it would be illegal so I'm not telling you guys that but do not pirate any games and definitely do not go searching for the classic Tekken discord that has everything you need I don't even know if it exists I just heard about it um, but definitely don't do any of that so We've read the quick start guide. We are not going to pirate any game, of course. So here we are. Um, so once you have uh, your ROM files that you, of course, got from, uh, you know, dumping your games and not pirating anything, normally they're going to come and they're going to have a lot of files. So we have, for example, T6 and Tag2 right here I'm gonna get them over here in a second for you guys so we have this RAR file here that has Tekken 5 DR so when we have these files there's going to usually be for RPCS3 there's gonna be a PKG file and a wrap file so if we want to make this really simple literally all we have to do is take our PKG file so let's literally just do this we're just going to take our PKG file. First of all, we'll put it in a folder. We'll extract it from the RAR. Take our PKG file and literally just put it onto our emulator. Okay, so it might freeze up for a second, but it's literally just going to ask us if we want to install the package. And so it's literally that simple. We have the game. Of course, I own this game on disk, so I'm not pirating anything. But we literally have the game right now. So it's pretty simple. Um, and now sometimes games are also going to come with a wrap file. So you also just want to put that uh, that wrap file in there as well. So that's going to be like a package pretty much. Um, and sometimes you're going to need a wrap file for like updates or things like that. So if your game comes with a wrap file, you're also going to want to put it into your emulator just like the same exact way that we put the game in. Okay, so we've got the game. Um, you know, we can open it and we can uh, see that we're now getting this message. So we do not have the firmware. So uh, we need the firmware. This goes for emulating anything, pretty much any console. Uh, you're going to need the firmware. Um, so it's really, really simple. All you have to do is literally just look up PS3 firmware on Google. And it's the official PlayStation website right here. And you can just get the firmware from this website, right? So if you go down to uh, update using your computer, get this right here, download PS3 update. And then, if it wants to go, 
Does it, does it want to go? Insta insecure download block. I don't know why uh, my computer feels like everything that I'm downloading during this process is a virus, but whatever. So that's going to be in your downloads folder. Now we've got the firmware. So all we need to do, go to file, firmware, or no, I'm sorry, go to, uh, yeah, go to, go to file and then install firmware. And then it's going to be in your downloads. So it's going to be this PS3 update. And it's going to just take some time to compile. All right, quick cut, guys. Something important I forgot to mention. If you guys want to learn these games, I know it can be really daunting um, because there's usually not a lot of resources for these games available. Uh, at least that, that was kind of how it was, you know, um, for, for a while with like Tekken 7, Tekken 8. Now that a lot of people are playing these games again, there are really good resources out there for like combos, frame data, all, all that kind of stuff. And so, yeah, I know it's super daunting to learn a new game, but if you just like have combos <laughs> and stuff, it feels like so much better to learn. So I just wanted to give you guys two of these resources that you can use. Um, so we've got this Tekken 5 DR library here. It's got combos for all characters in DR. Here we got the Brian stuff. You know, we've got important moves here, punishers, you know, wall combo stuff. So pretty cool stuff um, in here that you can use. Uh, again, all characters. Now Tekken 6, same type of thing. This, I believe, is just combos, uh, not really like a, a guide um, as much, but we've got combos in here, which is great. If you, you know, play a character in Tekken 7 or Tekken 8 and you go back to play them in T6, for the most part, you're still going to know what that character's doing. A lot of times you just need combos, so you can use this resource as well. Super great. Um, another great thing is the Tekken Zaibatsu forums. So there's a lot of old information on here, uh, just from all old games, combos, OK setups, all kinds of things. The only way to access this is with the Wayback Machine um, on the uh, web archive, as you can see I'm using here. So you won't be able to access this normally, but if you do use the Wayback Machine, you can ac um, access this website, and there's a lot of good resources on here as well. Uh, finally, for DR, there's uh, sdtekken.com has DR frame data that's still up. So for example, here's the Heihachi stuff. Um, so normally this stuff is always really weird and for a lot of characters the frame data is wrong in this section but if you go to special skills this is all laid out properly and is all correct um, and this is just the whole move list is, is the special skill stuff so this is a really really great resource as well so this has got the frame data for all the characters in DR so we've got DR combos DR frame data second six combos and then all types of stuff on the Tekken Zaibatsu forum. So I'll put all this stuff in the description so you guys can learn. Um, but yeah. So now we have our PS3 firmware. We can see we boot the game. Um, it's you know going to be compiling these modules here, uh, just like it was doing with um, you know like the firmware. So again, this is going to take some time. You know, if it's your first time booting the game up, it says seven minutes. It's definitely not going to take seven minutes. It's probably going to take like 30 seconds. So this is a great time to um, talk about the actual net code in this game because if we do play it on this emulator, there are online lobbies. There's a lobby system. We can actually play online. So that's pretty cool. So to get that started in our emulator, we're going to go to configuration and then we're going to go to RPCM. Okay, and you're gonna go to account. Now, you're gonna have to stop the game first. Hello? You? Okay, so configuration, RPCM. You're gonna click on account. Now, all you have to do right now is just basically create an account. Um, it's you know very simple. You're just gonna make a username. You're gonna make a password, right? You're going to make it, uh, I think you're going to link your email and then, you know, they're going to send you an email. You're going to verify your email, uh, whatever, right? It, it's very simple to do. I'm not going to make an account right now, but I will show you guys, um, you know, in my actual PlayStation 3 emulator, my, my R RC uh, RPCS3 that I use, what it looks like. So configuration, RPCN. So you can see I have my account name up here, just Ty. If I go to account, here's my current ID. And I'm going to click test account. And it's going to say your account is valid, right? So not too much work there. You're just going to make an account. You're going to test your account. You're going to make sure that it's valid. Uh, it's a very simple process. So when you do make an account, 
there's going to be another step that you're going to have to do if you want to play a game like online officially through the emulator. So it's very simple. Basically, we just have to configure our game to uh, like be connected to the internet, essentially, right? Um, it's not going to work if you don't do this, so this is very important. You're going to have to do this. So you're going to just right-click the game. We'll do T5DR, change custom configuration, and then you're going to go to network right here. And I think by default, network status is going to be disconnected. You're going to want to set that to connected. PSN status is going to be also set to disconnected. You're going to set that to RPCN. And then you're going to want to enable UPnP as well. And then just apply. Close it. And again, we'll just double check. Test our account, make sure it's working. Yep, my account's valid. So we'll see now. We've made an account, we downloaded the game. The firmware, everything. We didn't pirate anything, of course. Um, you know, you guys maybe are gonna have to like set up your controller, stuff like that. Um, but that's probably not necessary for me to explain to you how to do. So if we did everything right, we boot up Tekken 5 DR. That was extremely loud. Sorry, guys. If we boot up Tekken 5 DR. We can actually go to online battle here. Still extremely loud. We can go to online battle. And then we're literally going to be online. So we are legit like in the official lobby system right now. Uh, this is not like the same as like the PS3 servers, obviously. This is like its own thing on the emulator. But we're in the lobby system. Um, you know, we can make a lobby. We could find uh you know a match so we could just search for a match i don't know if anybody yeah nobody's probably playing right now it's like 6 25 in the morning um but i can create a room you know so i'll create a room right here you guys can see it's working somebody could join you know if they wanted to um it's not too difficult i don't know this whole invite friends thing i don't know what this is all about i really wouldn't mess with this because i think it just broke my game <laughs> i'll tell you guys the lobbies are very buggy on this game and you know you typically don't really want to mess around with too much stuff if you kick someone from your lobby I think it breaks your game um, you know there's a lot of things that can go wrong so typically just make your lobby tell your friends that it's up they'll find the lobby they'll join that's it right um, so just show you guys it's literally the exact same process with Tekken 6 You're just gonna get the game make sure it's the right version to play uh, to play online play net play and again, if we go to the configuration settings for Tekken 6, you're going to have to do this for every game that you want to play online. Okay, so keep that in mind. You're going to have to do that for every game. So again, if we go to Tekken 6, same settings, network status connected, RPCN, R yeah, RPCN, UPnP enabled, all that fun stuff, right? So again, if we boot up Tekken 6, we're going to see it, it's the same thing. I'm going to be able to just get online again. No one's going to be on right now, but, you know, just to show you guys that this does work. We'll just get through all these loading screens. So, again, just get through this, these menus. Um, if we go to online mode. Again, you guys can see we're connected. Um, you know, I don't. Probably not going to find a room. Yeah, but, you know, if you're playing with your friend, they make a room, you go to the uh, to the custom match, you know, you'll be able to to uh, to join their room. So the netcode kind of sucks, obviously. Um, another good option is Parsec. You know, if you guys don't have Parsec, this is a pretty great, um, you know, option that you can use. If you download Parsec, people will just be able to connect to your computer. You'll be able to connect to other people's computers. So it could cut back on a lot of the latency, depending on you know net your network performance, your ne network performance, whatever. Uh, so Parsec is a good option. Cloud servers are great. AWS, Google Cloud, things like that. You can set up your own server. It's not very expensive. It's very cheap. Um, and you'll basically just have a server that everyone can join. And it's going to make it a lot more of like an even, even playing field, right? Um, so, you know, you've got the official netcode, you got Parsec, you know, you've got the um, cloud servers that you can use. So, you know, you got options. Um, typically, I wouldn't really use the netcode in the game. It's pretty trash. But, yeah, that's pretty much everything you guys need to start playing these games online again. Um, you know, didn't cover the 
like tag one and the t3 stuff but it's the same exact process you're just downloading an emulator get in the game getting the net play settings working within the emulator um so pretty simple stuff so yeah that's pretty much everything so uh hopefully you know this was helpful for you guys um and we can get more people playing some uh, t5 dr i've been grinding the hell out of that game if you guys are interested you know i'd highly recommend doing this stuff it's really easy and uh, doesn't take too long you know and you can be playing tekken 5 online within like five ten minutes so hopefully i'll see you guys on dr thanks for watching and i hope it helps you